Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cine Fashions, where we talk all things media, and welcome to the first Tuesday of a brand new month, which means, because I didn't forget to do it this month, that we are talking about my most anticipated releases of the month of June. And let me tell you, June is packed. We are kicking off the summer right for us physical media collectors. So lots to get through today. I'll start with my honorable mentions, of course, and then jump in to the top five that I must add to my collection. Let's not waste any more time at all, guys. Let's dive right in to my five most anticipated releases of June 2024. All right, so let's start off with the honorable mentions. As always, I have my phone here, so if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. I'll try to go through these as quickly as possible, and we'll go through these in release order. So coming out on June 11th, we have Godzilla. I think they call this Godzilla Cross Kong, Godzilla X Kong, whatever it is. This is The New Empire coming from Warner Brothers, and of course, this is hitting 4K. So the only reason this is on my honorable mentions list is because I am so far behind in this series that I just don't need to spend the money on it right now. By the time I get around to it, it'll be a lot cheaper, I'm sure. So I'm, I bet money that this disc is going to be amazing. The others I've seen on 4K have been great. So I definitely need to catch up on this and finally watch this one, which I've actually heard really good things about. So excited to check this one out eventually. There is a, a Walmart exclusive. 4K Steelbook, if you're interested in that. That one is $34.96 on, on Walmart's website. But right now, as of filming, all of my prices today are going to be as of filming. This one is currently for the standard slipcover edition, $29.99 on Amazon. So looking forward to grabbing this one at some point, eventually down the line. Hopefully I can find it used at my local disc replay, but time will tell. This is Godzilla Cross Kong, The New Empire, hitting 4K and Blu-ray, of course, on June 11th. So that one should be great. And then from there, I'm going to do kind of a, a double pack here because both of these are films from the same franchise and both ones that I would love to have in my collection at some point. We have RoboCop 2 and RoboCop 2014 or the RoboCop remake hitting 4K from Scream Factory on June 18th. I am weird. One, I've never seen RoboCop 2. I've never seen any of the RoboCop sequels. I love the original, but I've not checked out the sequels. And two, I'm actually someone who really enjoys the remake. I have it here somewhere behind me. I thought it was fun, so I have no problem with it. I know most people really don't like that movie, but I'm a fan of it. And so I would love to get that on 4K at some point, but honestly, for the, the price that it's at right now, I can hold off a little bit. I'm guessing these will probably drop down a little bit, especially that remake. I just don't see that one selling very well. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Let me know if you love the remake down in the comments, but it's been a long time since I've seen it, and I do want to revisit it. I've been meaning to do that, and I really want to check out the sequels. I have the, the trilogy here behind me, so I definitely want to check those out, but haven't gotten around to them. So in the meantime, I'll hold off on this right now, but I am very happy to see both of these hitting 4K. These are both going to be $32.99 each on Amazon. And so not the cheapest, but it's pretty typical price for a Scream Factory 4K. So again, that's RoboCop 2014, the remake, and RoboCop 2 hitting 4K from Scream Factory on June 18th. Then sticking with June 18th, or no, I'm sorry, go one more week ahead, June 25th, we have another uh, one coming from Shout Factory. This is a Shout Selects line. We have Matinee. Now, this one is hitting 4K, of course, and it's one that I've been meaning to pick up from Shout Factory for a long time, or just anywhere for a long time, and wanting to watch it, but I've never gotten around to it. It looks like a lot of fun. I've always heard really great things about it. From what I recall, it has a really big cult following, so it's definitely one I want to see. John Goodman is in it, who I love, so I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. I just, I've not seen it yet, so I am going to hold off on this one for now, but I would love to get this once it does drop down in price a little bit. This also is listed currently at $32.99 on Amazon. So that is Matinee with John Goodman coming from the Shout Selects line on June 25th to 4K. And then we have an absolute masterpiece of cinema, one of my favorites, 
Taxi Driver. This is also hitting on June 25th, this one from Sony Pictures. This is actually getting its first standalone 4K release, and it's a 4K steelbook. The only other way to grab this one on 4K, at least here in the States, I don't know what it did overseas, but here, the only way to get it was with the Columbia Classics Collection Volume 2, I believe. I have it written down here, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, Volume 2. So the only reason this one isn't like number one on my list is because of the price. It's still listed at MSRP on Amazon, which is crazy. This is listed at $45.99, which that's just too much. That's too much money for my blood. If you are willing to pay it, go for it. It's going to be worth it, I'm sure, because the 4K from the Columbia Classics line has excellent review, so I'm sure it's going to look and sound amazing. The Steelbook looks really cool as well. That's all fine and dandy, but with everything else coming out this month and next month, I just, I'm not going to pay $45.99 for this one. If this does drop in price a little bit before it releases, frankly, I'd love to pay like $25.99 for this one, somewhere on the $25 mark. If it gets that low, I'll probably pick it up by the end of the month, but until then, I will hold off on this. Maybe we'll get a standalone slipcover release down the line. I'm not sure. We will see. But yeah, like I said, this one is $45.99 on Amazon. Just crazy. That's the MSRP. It hasn't dropped at all from there. So this is Taxi Driver, which I do own on Blu-ray, of course, behind me. And it's just a phenomenal movie. If you haven't seen it, I cannot recommend it enough. So that is Taxi Driver. And then the last of the honorable mentions, another favorite of mine, but for much different reasons, South Park. Bigger, longer, and uncut is hitting 4K from Paramount Pictures also on June 25th. And I believe this is like the 25th anniversary edition, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Another one I do own on Blu-ray behind me. Love this movie. I loved South Park back in the day. It was an event back when I was in high school I and middle school, actually, too. I just loved it. But I've not watched South Park in years now. That said, I still do love the movie. The music for it is amazing. I often sing it even to this day, even though I haven't seen it in a good number of years now. It's just a fun, funny movie that if you like the series, I mean, there's no reason you wouldn't like the movie. It's just so good. So love this. I love that it's hitting 4K and one that I might end up grabbing by the end of the month. We'll see where the month takes us. This one actually has a pretty decent price on it at $23.19 on Amazon. So not too terribly expensive, but another one that just barely squeaked out of my top five and it landed over to my honorable mentions. So that is a pretty good month of honorable mentions. A lot of those are probably on people's top five, but for me, I went a different direction. But yeah, really excited that eventually I'll have some of those in my collection. So now let's jump over to the top five. Of course, I'll start with my number five and then work my way up to my number one, which is the release I am most excited about for June. Number five on my list today is the only one on this list that I don't currently have pre-ordered. And the only reason for that is because next month, presumably, it's going to be 50% off. So I might as well just hold off 30 days and wait until July. And hopefully that sale that we're all expecting will actually happen as it always does. But I'm talking about the Criterion Collection release of Bound from 1996. And this is hitting 4K on June 18th. And again, Criterion Collection sale usually happens in July at Barnes & Noble, which of course Amazon then does price match. So that's why I'm holding off on this one. Otherwise, this is a must buy. It is one of the first titles I'm grabbing in the month of July. Cannot wait to see this one. This is from the Wachowskis and it's pre-Matrix. And so I'm very intrigued to see what it's all about. I guess uh, Jennifer Tilly is in this one and she, along with her ex-lover, are uh, plotting to take like steal millions of dollars from the mob, essentially. And so it sounds really interesting. I've always heard amazing things about this one over the years. And so finally, now I can add it to my collection. I will just wait one more month, though, to save a, a little bit more money. But yeah, this looks like an awesome release. The disc itself is getting a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 audio track, along with Dolby Vision and HDR10 color grading, which you're going to hear on almost every 4K disc I talk about today, those exact same specs. But it's just weird how that worked out. And then on the special features side of the disc, there is an audio commentary track, 
a new video essay, trailers, and six interviews. So another stacked release from Criterion, as we've always come to expect. And I didn't mention it, but I will mention this is uh, the unrated international version of the movie that Criterion is putting out. So really looking forward to finally checking this movie out. Let me know if this is one that you guys love. Cannot wait to check this out from the Lukowskis. This is Bound from 1996, hitting blue, uh, sorry, hitting 4K and Blu-ray, of course, from Criterion on June 18th. Fittingly, number four is also from the creators of South Park. We have Team America World Police hitting 4K in its 20th anniversary edition. So this, of course, came out back in 2004, and this is also being released by Paramount Pictures. This one hits 4K on June 25th. Another one, like I said, everything from here out, I do have pre-ordered, so really looking forward to checking this one out. Now, this is a movie that I have not seen since I watched it back in theaters, I don't think, back in 2004, but... I loved it back then. Again, because South Park was such a thing for us back in high school, of course I was going to see Team America World Police in theaters, and it was hilarious. So I cannot wait to see what this one is going to look like on 4K. Of course, this is the puppet movie. It's just so ridiculous and absurd, but it's hilarious. If you like South Park, you'll probably like Team America and vice versa. So I passed on the uh, Shout Factory Blu-ray that came out. Was that last year, maybe a couple years ago? I did pick up the DVD at the thrift store not that long ago, but happy to upgrade from the DVD of this one. Much like I talked about with Bound, this 4K is getting a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 audio track along with Dolby Vision and HDR10 color grading. One thing I'll mention on this is that the theatrical cut appears to be on the 4K disc, and then the unrated or uncut edition, whatever they call it, is on the Blu-ray disc along with all of these special features, which it looks like, unfortunately, there's nothing new, but they have ported over everything from that Shout release. So if you look back at the original Paramount Blu-ray, it, that was bare bones release. There was virtually nothing on it, but the shout release added a whole bunch of new special features, which fortunately these are all ported over. So this is one that if you already have the Blu-ray on, you might want to hold off on the 4K if you're not a giant fan of it. But as someone who doesn't have any of the HD releases, I'm definitely grabbing this one. There are eight behind the scenes featurettes included on this one amongst other things. So, I mean, that's awesome. I cannot wait to check this one out. This is currently only 19 $19.99 on Amazon, so definitely one worth pre-ordering if you're interested in picking this one up on 4K. So again, that is Team America World Police hitting 4K on June 25th from Paramount Pictures. Number three on my list is the first Blu-ray I'll talk about on my top five. This is a 2024 horror film, Immaculate. This one is coming from Decal Releasing on June 11th. And unfortunately, like I said, it is only getting a Blu-ray release, not a 4K release, but this feels like one that like a year from now, we could see a 4K upgrade. So hopefully I will check this one out when I pick it up and hopefully I'll love it, but we will see. My buddy who uh, we I always go to movies with, he ended up seeing this one in theaters. Unfortunately, I missed it in theaters, but he really liked it. And so we tend to have kind of sometimes similar sensibilities when it comes to horror films. So I'm really hoping I enjoyed this one like he did. Now, unfortunately, on the special features front for this, it looks like there's only one audio commentary track and that's disappointing. I would love to see more here. But like I said, this really feels like one that in a year, maybe we'll get a 4K release and maybe we'll get a whole bunch of new special features with it as well. But time will tell. Fortunately, what's really good about this one is it's pretty darn cheap. Like I pre-ordered it last night and it's only $14.69 right now on Amazon. So a really good price on this. Even if we do get a 4K upgrade down the line, at least we're not spending, you know, $25, $30 on a Blu-ray today. This is Immaculate coming from Decal Releasing, hitting Blu-ray on June 11th. And like I mentioned, that'll be $14.69 right now on Amazon. Number two is a movie that I never even heard of until doing research for this video. But once I found out what it was, I immediately went and pre-ordered it. This is actually from Vinegar Syndrome, one of their partner labels called VHS Hit Fest. That's the partner label. The name of the movie is Game of Pleasure. And this one is from 1998. And this is hitting Blu-ray on June 25th. 
So like I said, this is a Vinegar Syndrome release. Unfortunately, the limited edition slipcover is already sold out on this one. I did just go the Amazon route. It was a little bit cheaper. You don't get the slipcover, but that's sold out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But this movie looks insane. This looks like a, an insane mix of like ni late 90s cyber movies with, the, you know, how, how they handled the internet, sci-fi and horror mixed in one. It just looks nuts. So I guess with this one, the world's largest video game manufacturer creates this brand new VR game called Pleasure. Of course, this is an erotic game, but it kind of mixes in a weird way fantasy with reality and things take on a life of its own. It just sounds like a perfect blend of things that interest me. So super intrigued to check this one out. I cannot wait to see what it's all about. I'm sure it's probably going to be awful, but that's part of the appeal for these. So cannot wait to see this one. This is, uh, like I said, only coming to Blu-ray, not a 4K release, but it is loaded with special features as well. This has an audio commentary track, three interviews, and a behind the scenes featurette plus deleted and alternate scenes and raw footage so another really stacked release from vinegar syndrome which i mean that's just what we expect from them they do a great job so yeah really looking forward to checking this one out i rarely buy new vinegar syndrome releases but there was no way I could pass this one up. And I will mention what I'm showing on screen right now is actually the limited edition slipcover, not the standard edition, because the standard edition is just a little less YouTube friendly than the slipcover edition. So that's what I'm showing on screen now. But yeah, definitely check it out if you're interested. This looks like so much fun. This one is currently $25.52 on Amazon. And if it sounds like it's something that you might be interested in, check it out before it ends up selling out. Cannot wait to check out Game of Pleasure from from VHS Hit Fest, from uh, of course a partner label of Vinegar Syndrome. This one hits Blu-ray on June 25th. All right, number one on my list actually started off as an honorable mention, and then much like number two, I started doing the research on it and realized, no, I need this in my collections. Of course, I went and pre-ordered it again last night. This is Chinatown from 1974, and this is going to be spine number 45 of the Paramount Presents line. This one is releasing on 4K on June 18th. Now, I have very few do I have any? I'm sure I have some Paramount Presents movies, but I have very few of them. I know my buddy Joe over at Physical Media Man, he's trying to collect them all. Uh, Ken at Mid-Level Media is collecting all, if not most of them. But me, I've just not really jumped on that line like some of my other uh, YouTubers here have. So this is one, though, that I definitely need to check out because one, it's Chinatown, which is a big blind spot for me. I've never seen this movie, but I've always heard amazing things about this. A Roman Polanski director directed kind of noir thriller that just looks awesome with Jack Nicholson in it. I've heard amazing things over the years, so I definitely need to finally see this one, but I don't have it in my collection at all. On top of getting Chinatown though, and really the main reason I said, you know what, that's worth the price tag, you also get the sequel from 1990, The Two Jakes, which also stars uh, Jack Nicholson in this. And so you get two films for the price of one. That film is only on Blu-ray, the sequel, but either way, Chinatown is really the main attraction here, so cannot wait to see this one. Now, talking about Chinatown, this, much like the other 4K discs, is also getting a DTS HD 5.1 Master Audio track. There is a 2.0 audio on that as well. I'm going to guess that might be the original track, but I, don't quote me on that. Uh, I didn't do any research on that, but that's my guess. But anyway, also on top of that, you are getting Dolby Vision and HDR10 color grading, so should look and sound just amazing. And then over on the special features front, this one does look pretty stacked as well. Uh, Paramount actually did a really great job with this because there's a bunch of brand new special features. It looks like there are three new features to this release specifically, including one on a third film in this planned trilogy that just never came to fruition. I am super excited to check that one out. Uh, but it looks like all of the previous special features or most of the previous special features have also been ported over as well. So this really looks like it could be the definitive release of Chinatown, at least on paper. So hopefully Paramount pulls out all the stops for this one once it actually hits. So number one on my list this month, I cannot wait to see finally is Chinatown from 1974 hitting 4K from Paramount Presents on June 18th. 
All right, so June is just a stacked month, man. This is awesome. Between June and July, I have so many items that I have pre-ordered on Amazon, and I cannot wait to check these out. So let me know down in the comments below, what are you planning to pick up in the month of June? Any of the ones that I mentioned, or is there something else major that I completely left out? I know there is, but talk about it down in the comments below. Uh, these are the ones I'm most excited about though, but let me know what you're interested in. But that said, guys, before you take off, if you could hit that like button down below, that engagement really does help me out. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I always appreciate all of the viewers and all the comments. Thank you so much for that support. I really do appreciate that. Before you go, I will just encourage you all to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time.